What is going on everyone, Ken also known as Wiltshire here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to get the best quality from your Dazzle Capture Card using Virtual Dub. Let's hop over to my PC so we can get the setup of Virtual Dub going. Now that I've hopped over to my PC, as you can see on my desktop I have three files. These three files are what I'll be using throughout the entire tutorial. Now these files are linked in the description below and they are free to download. So the first thing that we want to do is you want to right click on your desktop, go to new, and create two new file folders. For the second file folder we want to rename that as LAM. After that we want to open up the virtual dub zip folder and we want to select all the files that is in that zip folder and drag it into our new folder that we created. After that we're going to open up the other zip folder also known as LAM ACM and we're going to select all those files in that zip folder and do the same thing as the virtual dub but we're going to drag those into our LAM folder that we created earlier. Once that's done we're going to close those and you can feel free to delete these two zip folders if you want. But we're going to move on to installing the Legareth lossless codec. So open up the installer, click run, click next, and it should complete in absolutely no time. Next we're going to install the mp3 codec for your audio, for your capture card, and next we're going to open up the LAM folder. We're going to take this file and we're going to drag it onto our desktop. If you're on a 32-bit operating system, you got it easy in the shade. All you have to do is right click this file that looks like a notepad with a gear on it. Right click, make sure you click install and you're done. But if you're on a 64-bit operating system, it's a little more complicated and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So open up the how to install LAM ACM on x64 notepad document and it will come up with a few instructions and I'm going to go through those instructions. So we're going to go open up the start menu, my computer, and we're going to drag the LAM folder into our C drive. And I'm just going to overwrite the files here because I've already done this. Next what we're going to do is we're going to open up the command prompts and we're going to do that by going to our start menu, typing in CMD in the search bar and make sure you right click on the CMD program and this will open up the command prompt running as administrator. Next we want to type or we want to copy rather the third line of code in the text document into the command prompt, hit enter and this will redirect us to the file folder that we want to install our codec in. Now we're going to copy the fourth line of code and again paste it into the command prompt and hit enter. Now this will install the mp3 codec and now you can feel free to close all of those windows. Now we're going to finally open up virtual dub and when you open up virtual dub it may give you the security warning. If you get that it's okay it's perfectly fine it's safe just click run. Now that we're in virtual dub we want to go to file tab and go to the capture avi option. This will bring up the capture module built into virtual dub. And as you can see in the preview menu here, I have my PS2's menu running in the background as an example. But when you first open up the capture mode, you'll notice that there is no picture preview. Now, what we want to do is you want to select the device that we're going to use. So go to device and select your Dazzle capture card. And this will enable the preview on your window. Next, we're going to go under the video tab and we're going to select the compression method that we're going to be using. So we're going to use the Legareth lossless codec that we installed earlier. And we're going to go back into the video again, but we're, this time we're going to go into the filter chain and go to filter list. Since standard definition gaming consoles are in interlaced footage, it does not look that great on YouTube. What you need to do is you need to deinterlace that footage. So we're going to add a filter called deinterlace right here. And this will make your footage look a lot better. It'll come up with another window looking like this. Next thing you want to choose is interpolate using Bob algorithm. I know it's somewhat of a funny name, but that's what you need to select and then click OK. Next, we're going to go into the capture tab and we're going to go to timing. Now, this is a very, very important step. Virtual Dub automatically is defaulted to sync audio to video by resampling the audio to a faster or slower rate which means that it'll slow down your audio to keep up with your video. And you don't want that at all because it'll sound really funny and screw up your recording. By default, the options on the timing is selected like this. But what you want to do in the resync mode is you want to say, do not resync between audio and video streams. And this will have no lag in your video. So now we can start capturing our video footage using our Dazzle Capture Card. All you need to do is go to Capture capture video and it'll come up with this if you didn't set a capture file. So if you see that screen make sure you go to file, set capture file and name it whatever you want. So I'll just say I don't know we'll name it as test 2. 
and hit enter and save it. Next, you can now go to the capture tab and go to capture video and it'll start capturing the footage from your Dazzle capture card. Now, if you want to stop capturing your footage from your capture card, all you need to do is go to the capture menu again and hit the stop capture tab. And this will stop your capture and now you'll have a video file on your desktop. And that's it guys, that's how you get the best quality from your Dazzle capture card using virtual dub. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys really liked it, make sure you like the video. And remember guys, if it's easy to follow, it's easy to learn.